Hello again, Woodland Ponders. I'm Al Chase and co-chair of Artscope. Irene Fitzgerald, our other co-chair, will be watching from the Health Center and rating our performance. Hi, Irene. I want to thank uh, uh, Jason Irish. You all know Jason. Uh, Connor Copeland. Connor is relatively new to Woodland Pond. He's now part of the um, concierge group. Uh, in independent living, and also uh, Gretchen Down. Um, without them, um, this video just wouldn't be taking place. Um, assembling all the elements is going to be on the shoulders of uh, uh, Connor, and we're pretty sure that he can bring his experience into play. Right, Connor? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. um, for those of you who are new to Woodland Pond, Artscope consists of a group of creatives whose purpose is to bring visual arts exhibits to the pack. Many paintings and photography by Woodland Ponders as well as from outside sources. Today's exhibit of work by Woodland Pond staff members launches Artscope's sixth year. Pretty hard to believe, but it's, it's, that's it. In that time, we've mounted scores of shows and numerous art-centered videos, all for the enjoyment of our residents. It's been a long, long, long time since we've had a live opening reception, more than a year and a half. I was hoping that this one would be it, but it was not to be. Again, we're forced to do a virtual with this built-in scheduling limitations. We miss the personal aspect of a live opening the camaraderie, hearing from the artists as they discuss their work, and sharing their personal stories. Of course, there's the wine and cookies, but it's the interaction between artists and audience that matters most. We had originally planned to have a staff show in 2020, but like almost all else on the schedule, we had to cancel it. It was a terrible disappointment since it was so highly anticipated by all of us. The current show features the work of seven staff members, four who work at the health center, that's Marin Lott, Jocelyn Cariello, Linda Storminger, and Cynthia Carangelo, and the other three at Independent Living, Sarah Hull, Cassidy Ginn, and Casey Warbrick. If you attended the opening reception of the staff exhibit in 2019, you witnessed one hell of a show. The excellent work that was displayed and the stories the artists told were poignant, entertaining, and riveting. Unfortunately, we're faced with work hours and scheduling issues when videotaping a virtual. So we'll do the next best thing. Gretchen Daum will read the artist bio statements and the titles of the individual pieces. We'll show a photo of each artist and we'll pan across the artwork. The video is just a taste of the variety of work in this show. Make sure you come to the pack to see all the work up close. You'll be glad you did. As you might imagine, putting together an exhibit requires a lot of work. But I'm rewarded when I read the email from one of the exhibitors one of the, um, that one of the exhibitors sent me. She writes, I walked over to take a look today. I was in tears of joy. I have always wanted to show my work, but was always intimidated. You have opened a door for me. Believe me, a note of gratitude like this one makes the effort so worthwhile. It doesn't get any better than this. When we brag that creativity flourishes at Woodland Pond, not only are we referring to our artistic residents, but also our talented employees. Now enjoy the show. Hello, I'm Linda Storminger. I like the Hudson River artists and I took a class with Kevin Cook, a devotee of this School of Art. I attended Woodstock School of Art and Dutchess Community College. 
I've been painting for 35 years with renowned artists like Paul and John Gould. I traveled with Paul Gould to workshops in Ireland, France, Italy, and Portugal to paint outdoors on location. I've been at Woodland Pond for the past one and a half years. These are the works of Linda Storminger, and all of her works are in oils. A portrait of Joanne from Woodland Pond. Autumn pumpkins in the field. Village in Portugal. Village in Italy. The traps at Mohonk Mountain. Kingston's Rondout Lighthouse. Serene Wonder. Moon over Long Beach. Hi, I'm Jocelyn Cariello. I've been in the Health Center Activities Department at Woodland Pond for a mere five months. I am retired from a 32-year career in education as a teaching assistant in the Saugerties School District. I have spent my entire life with some sort of camera in my hand. My motivation for taking pictures has changed over the years. Currently, it's being mindful of my surroundings. I try to find some form of peace in everything I see through a lens. Jocelyn Cariello's photos. See the light taken at Bug Light, Portland, Maine. Finding clarity at Sebago Cove in Naples, Maine. A locked view of 2020 taken in Bridgeton, Maine. A wave of spring, Kingston Point. On seagulls' wings, taken at Kingston Point. Serenity in turbulence, Rondout Creek. Welcome to our exhibit. I'm Cassidy Ginn. I've been at Woodland Pond for four years in various roles. From an early age, I showed an interest in arts and crafts. I attended Ulster County Community College, but didn't feel I was on the right path. I plan to return to college once I find a career path that is right for me. When it comes to making artwork, I love to experiment to create a kind of atmosphere in my paintings and photography. I find it especially interesting to examine my artwork after creating it to see what deeper meaning I've subconsciously included. Cassidy's work is a variety of medium, including India ink, acrylics, pastel, silver print, monoprints. B-side acrylic. Untitled. Also untitled. Skull still life. Untitled. Draped. A mood. Hi, I'm Marin Lott. I will be at Woodland Pond 10 years come this October, and I am the activities director for the Health Center. I found that I enjoyed creating when I participated in art programs with residents in the Health Center. I loved to see how the art process afforded people the ability to communicate and process emotions 
even if they couldn't verbally articulate those feelings. At the end of an art session, the participants appeared lighter and joyful. I too feel this way and use art to express pain and worries. Marin's work is mixed media, encaustic, and acrylics. The man. The weeping woman. Connection. Fertile flowers. In my dreams. Safe. Hi, I'm happy to greet you. I am Cynthia Carangelo. I've been at Woodland Pond for almost four years. I am part of the Health Center Activities Department as the Music and Recreation Therapist. I was not an art major, although that's debatable since music is an art. I am inspired to do art by the desire to create something and to take time for myself. Cynthia collaborated with Noel Perry for this acrylic, Affection in the Reflection. Grandma's Piano, Strum, I am Casey Warbrick. I have been at Woodland Pond for about two years, assigned to dining services. I am currently attending SUNY New Paltz in the Bachelor of Fine Arts Painting and Drawing program. Color is the driving force of my artwork. My work focuses on ontological questions and reflects my attitudes toward gender and sexuality as a transgender person. Art is an important outlet for me, and I plan on pursuing it as a career. Casey's works are mixed media. Fire. Flying over my house. Ice. Water. The primal scream. Swimming underwater. It's a party. That's it. That's it. Hello, I'm Sarah Hull. My artwork is based on my experiences in life and my relationship with God through those experiences. The three I've chosen to display reflect my most recent thoughts and feelings. The point being, God is ever present, even in our times of great difficulty. As director of residential services for the last 11 years, I often witness the personal events, cheerful and challenging, that our independent living residents experience. It is a privilege and pleasure to be in this role. Woman with God. God is with you. Grief. Well, that was our virtual opening reception. You're welcome to see the exhibit, this exciting exhibit, in person in the pack. On behalf of our scope, thanks Gretchen for all your help today and every day, and Connor for filming the event. Also, ArtScope is grateful to the seven staff members for sharing their artistic talents with our residents and their fellow employees here at Woodland Pond. 
and Artscope's gratitude extends to all the residents and the administration who have supported our efforts for the past five years. Thank you, thank you, thank you.